this football. Next, we have Legacy Football. As we open these, I will shoot this right. These are the next couple of boxes. These are the next four boxes that we will open as a group together. Legacy Football. I'd say it's a real sport, but foot, football, baseball, basketball. I'm a soccer fan, so I'm going to count soccer. All of them. Real sports. Here we go. Legacy. Legacy football. We have four boxes of legacy football. Here we go. Open these all up. So, anybody who's new, this is my second Monday in a row. I am the brother-in-law. Chris is lucky enough to be married into my family. He's welcome. And I think if he uh, had him on a moment of honesty, he would be agreeing with me. He is the lucky one. We'll go over the teams here in a second, but... I am the brother-in-law. I am Kevin, here with Artie, breaking all the packs as we go. So I hope you guys are enjoying this Monday, the greatest day of the week. I've been getting a little flack about that, but it is Monday. It is the greatest day of the week. If you can't have a good Monday, how can you have a good week? So we set off to give you guys all a very good Monday. Thank you, Mr. Gary. Anytime we do a football card to feel more in my zone. Is there anybody who guys, any of you who don't have football as maybe your number one sport as it is mine. Maybe you guys like baseball or soccer or basketball better. But I know, I think every sports fan has their favorite sport. For me, it's football. Maybe it's because I grew up playing it, played it through college, now coach it in high school. So for me, it's football. So that's why this is, this is home cooking for me. You guys all have a favorite sport or not. Guys, just watch any sport that's on any time, from golf to NASCAR to soccer. Whatever's on is on, and we will watch. You guys tell me. I always like the chat to be a bit interactive. I like to go back and forth. You tell me, ask me questions, or ask Artie questions. I know he likes to talk just as much as I do. So it's really up to you. So we have these four stacks of legacy football cards to we have four stacks right there you see all four of of, of them i moved i'm moving this camera back as far as i can before it falls off the desk give me a second while i center that there four stacks of cards bomber breaks beautiful so here's what we got tonight with the cardinals we've got doug Dougie Doug with the Cardinals, Falcons, Bucks, Daniel, Ravens with Chris, Bills and Bengals with Andy, Panthers, uh, eBay name, Aubrey and 98, Bears, Mr. Curry, Browns, eBay name, Ross, Cloverhouse, Zero, Cowboys, Debo, Shiznick, Viking, uh, Broncos, Vikings, Mr. Watt, Lions, Rams with Jeff, Packers, William, Texas, Jaguars, Ron, eBay name Ron, 200, 3,208, Colts, eBay name MA with the Chiefs, Dolphins, and Patriots, Mr. Rossi, Chargers and Raiders, Darius, Saints, Heron Marks, Giants, Math, Jets, Thomas, Eagles, eBay name Squish, Steelers, eBay names Kaijo, 49ers, eBay name, Eric Bod, Seahawks, eBay name, Totro, Titans, eBay name, uh, Ross, Vardy, 97, and Redskins, Mr. Kirby Jr. Does fishing count? Does fishing count as a sport? Yeah. All right, we'll count it as a sport. 
Wayne's World fishing counts as a sport. You can be professional. Uh, you can be professional. Bass, I, I, that means it, right? I, mean, I believe the Bass Masters was over the weekend. So here we go. We will get going on our legacy. We'll pull from this stack first. Here we go. These are college jerseys. So I got a nice uh, spreadsheet here. Khalil uh, McCafferty. Here we go. 82 out of 100. Lawrence Taylor. That's a legend to begin with. 82 out of 100. Legends. And then a couple of rookies. Denzel Mims. And rookie out of Carolina. Edwards. Edelman. Julio Jones. But then we have Tyron Matthew, the Honey Badger. We got a, a bit of a psych out right there. We got Drew Brees with the Timeless. Randy Moss is a legend. Donovan Peoples Jones, the Indian. Cab, the Indian. Wow. Cavs. That was way off. A couple of Browns back to back. Harrison Bryant and Donovan Peoples Jones. Anything on ESPN counts as a sport. Unless you're counting during shutdown because they were showing some wacky stuff. Some wacky stuff. Mitchie Trubisky. There's a fan favorite. Ezekiel Elliott. Joe Thomas, the legend. Gotta show some uh gotta show some love for the fat guy. Derek Brown. Chase Claypool. Henry Hooper now with the Browns. Khalil Mack. There's a Tom Brady. J.K. Dobbins. The Ohio State University. There's another Tom Brady. Mr. Fred Taylor. There's a Jonathan Taylor. Jackson and T. Higgins. Anything on ESPN counts. Anybody catch any ESPN sports during shutdown? Perhaps the insane diving. Wilkins. Cousins. What? Uh-oh. Tyler Johnson's turned around. I wonder why. That's a Tyler Johnson auto out of Minnesota. Tyler Johnson, rookie auto. Tampa Bay Bucks. Ta Tampa Bay Bucks. That slides right next door to get looked at. And then we have 99 out of 150. A couple of rookies. There's another J.K. Dobbins. Hey, there's my buddy, Matt Ryan. Let's talk about this mattress for a minute. Won't talk about anything else. We'll talk about how I destroyed his mattress by throwing it down seven flights of stairs. Aaron Donald, Carson Wentz. There's a Patrick Mahomes, Pat Tillman, Nate Stanley. Beautiful. Let's pass these right in the door as we get this all taken care of. You guys want to know what a break looks like in real time? You're watching it. Mr. Dilger himself. Oh, I'm not certain. I'm not certain these guys. But a, we, have a, we have a specialty guy. He can do the entire breaks without a cheat sheet, which is quite impressive. That's, That's very impressive for anybody in college jerseys. These, I always like to look at college jerseys. Ingram. Ryan Tannehill. There's a J.J. Watt for the ages of Jerry Rice. A couple of rookies. Here we go, KJ Hamler. Tyler Lockett out of 150 in that last stack. Beautiful. You saw a marble race when they brought that ESPN the Ocho. So if you don't mind, tell us about the marble race. I don't even know what that would look like online. Crowder, is like a Darius. It's a huge thing. These marble races are like taking off. The marble races, I've never heard my, of it. My brother in law is like in his own little marble race thing. and I I've never, it. ever it's heard of it. Legit, supposedly. Couple of rookies. There's a Grand Delpit and Devaney. I've never heard of nor seen, nor do I want to see what a marble race looks like. Got a Bowden there in the bench. Mike Evans. There's another Mahomes. There's a numbered 154 out of 299, Mr. Mahomes. And then we have a Tony Gonzalez, a couple of rookies we have here. Jacob Eason, Lynn Bowden Jr. out of Kentucky. A 
Lamar Cook. We got a little faker outer there. Thanks for nothing. Behind that. Behind that, though, we got a Lamar. A record book Lamar. Howie Long. A couple of rookies. Abert and McCray. Out of Baylor University. Tom, I'm waiting for you to describe what you thought of the marble race. Loved it, hate it, don't want to see it again. What'd you think of the marble race? Jamal Adams now with the Seahawks. Devontae Adams. We got a little mini guy. A little Sam Darnold mini. Peyton. Aikman and a couple of rookies. Isaiah Simmons. Never saw the slippery stairs, Wayne. Wayne's World. Godwin. Mahomes. Little. There's a Nate Stanley out of the University of Iowa. Drew Brees. Record book Brees. Walter Jones. Maybe the best left tackle ever. And a rookie, K.J. Hill and J.K. Dobbins. So since we can't get a description of the marble race, can you tell us about the slippery stairs? Mr. World, balls in your court. Zeke. Here we have a 89 out of 199, Derek Henry. That's lined right next door. A couple of legends. And then we have our rookies, Justin Jefferson. Anybody else see anything interesting on the Ocho? Now with the Colts, we have Phillip Rivers, Sam Darnold, well, Aaron Jones. Oh, this looks thick. This looks big. I'll tell you this. It's a 17 out of 100. It's a Nate Staley out of the University of Iowa. That's an auto. That's a jersey piece. That's a Nate Staley. Love the white, yellow, and black. That's a boom, just because he's out of the Big Ten. That's a that's a Staley. There you go. And then we have Lamar, a couple of legends and Boomer and rookie AJ Dillon out of my alma mater, Boston College. Anybody who follows college football knows what comes out of Boston College, and it usually isn't running backs. AJ Dillon will be the exception. Nate Staley is a Minnesota Viking. Got a Viking there for Nate Staley, the Minnesota. Vikings, Mr. Watt, that's fantastic. You got a pet, well, Eric Dickerson for the ages, legend, little Peyton Manning, and a couple of rookies. Reed, there's the number one overall pick. That's a Joe Burrow. Well done. Go Bengals, except when they play the Browns. Week two, hopefully, not a good thing for the Bengals. We have a Cam Akers running back. Which rookie quarterback has the best career? Ooh, that's got to be Joe Burrow. Okay. It's got to be. Gotta who, be. Else, who else has a chance? Tua? Was no. Tua the number one pick before he broke his hip? No, no. he's going to be hurt. Okay. You break a hip, you're done. Okay. You, know you break a hip. I don't know much. I don't know almost I, anything I'll at all. I'll take Tua of those two. If you want Burrow. All right, then let's, let's throw it to you guys. Who's going to have a better career? Tua or Joe Burrow? Or Javon I mean, Kinlaw, cool. who's now with the Browns. Miami coach is a savant, too, so I'm putting a lot of faith in him. I can't even think of his name. but Miami. The, the head coach, right? He, like, they won those games last year with, like, Oh, like, the, the BC Rod. guy. Is that who it is? It's a um, guy. I, he was a fifth year. I was there. He, I visited him. I can picture his face. Played linebacker at Boston College, and this is going to bug me. This is going to absolutely bug me. Hey, someone's got to help me out. Head coach for the Miami Dolphins. He's a former Boston College athlete, coached with the Patriots, coached with Bill. Like Brian Flores. There it is. Yeah. There it is. He was at BC. He was a fifth year when I was a redshirt freshman at Boston. Good dude. One of the smartest players I was ever around. Quiet guy. Just kind of went about his business. Chris Carson. Darius. There's an Aaron. There's a Julius Pest. There's a two. Out of 100, that's a legend. That's that's going right there to get packed up right now. Andre Johnson, Jerry Judy, Denzel Mims. Love 
L hold on. Love will have the best career. Okay. Hey, there's hey. no there's no wrong answer. William, I mean, I'm going to argue with that. Uh, hey, well, here's what I'll say, right? Who's going to who's going to be in the best situation when they get to start? Probably Love. Not guaranteed, but considering the Packers aren't a bottom of the barrel team, in theory, they'll have a better roster when he gets to go. I guess it's just hard for me to look two years out. But maybe. Right. I mean, maybe. Maybe. Uh, 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 Thomas. Herbert, right? Oh, a Wisconsin Badger. 96 out of 100. That's going to be a patch. That's going to be an auto. That's going to be Jonathan Taylor. Little red, little white, Jonathan Colts. Taylor with yes. the Indianapolis Colts, Colts, Indianapolis Colts. That's a nice hit. Boom! Jonathan Taylor. As an Ohio State fan, we saw a ton of him. That's with the Colts. A couple of rookies. Edwards. I see Brian Edwards all the time. I keep wanting to say Braylon Edwards. Mm. So if I do that, you can yell at me. I'm okay with being yelled at. Young guys are going to get rattled. How do you think the lack of preseason is going to help or hurt the young guys? That's another common thing I hear all the time. Yeah. How I it's got to hurt, right? I mean, yeah. Uh... How that helps your quarterback. I don't think it can help the quarterback. Right, no prep. Unless your name is Patrick Mahomes. But he had a whole, he had a whole year. You're not going to, or John Elway. It's going to be rough right. for you. Harrison Bryant and Derek Brown. If I if I had any choice to play a vet quarterback, I would for this year. Like I'd play Fitzpatrick. I'd play Tyrod. I'd play all the vets and give those rookies some time. I would, personally. It's going to be hard. Do you want to sit two years and get the number one pick again? I don't know what you do. Yeah. This year, that's a Grant Delph, but that's gotta, a Cleveland Brown. That's a rookie. You got to be able to evaluate you know, how they look, too, right? Like, I think you should be able to tell, like, oh, this guy looks ready or no, this guy can't. You know. Well, then I guess the question is, can you tell how somebody looks in practice? Right. That's a good, I, I want to believe yes, but. Simply, I don't know if NFL works the same way as college, but simply knowing how college works, it's hard to believe. Okay. Because if college, there's a Miles Garrett, Cleveland Browns. Because if college works the same way, the quarterbacks are getting the script before practice and saying, hey, keep an eye out for this or keep an eye out for that. 294 out of 299. That's Matthew Stafford. My neighbor is a huge Lions fan. He's going to be jealous, but that's okay. As with Barry Sanders. Because if the NFL is anything like college, they get the, the script the night before and they're saying, hey, look at this, look at that, look at this, look at that. Waynes, how do you think the lack of fans is going to affect the play on the field? I don't know. That's nothing I've thought of. How do you think the lack of fans is going oh, to affect fans. the lack of fans going to affect the play on the field? Oh, we got faked out here. The only thing I'm going to say is the tackling, right? When you don't have practice, the number one thing this offers is tackling. And so yes. Well, Jimmy and Joe Green, a couple of rookies. You would know better than anybody. Chase what, Young. Do you, what if you had to play a big college game with no fans? I would, like, what well, the real, I, I don't think fans matter. Okay. The game I keep going to is when I was when I was playing, we played Temple before they were any good. We played them at the Eagles Stadium. And I think there was probably 5,000 fans in the Eagles Stadium. And it was quiet. You could hear what everybody was saying. You could hear what the quarterback was saying. You could hear what the linemen were saying. None of it really mattered. Maybe, though, because it was Temple, and at the time they weren't very good, but who knows? I happen to believe that not a lack of fans won't do too much. There's a Jameson. There's a mini guy. And then we have Aaron Terrell and a couple of rookies. Just a mini. And a They're talking about what else will come out of the days and stuff. Mm -hmm. I want to see some Chase Young action. I've seen a couple of Chase Young. Just right. There's a Nick Chubb for you. <laughs> nobody, nobody, nobody cares about Nick Joe. I do. There's an Isaiah, Michael Thomas, and a couple of legends, rookies, KJ, Zach Moss. It's hard to project two years down the road because who knows what's going to happen, especially in the NFL. Yeah. Evans, Hill, we got a Xavier. It's turned upside down, so maybe that's a good sign. Xavier McKinney. Rookie, Alabama. That's an auto. New Xavier. York football they, Giants. There you go. There's a New York Football Giants auto for you. And behind now we got a number. 
289, 268 out of 299, Tyler Johnson, University of Minnesota. So no Chase Young, but... I already know if he's a buck because we just tried him. <laughs> there him. we go. We got him last week because you simply said, oh, he's catching ball from Tommy, Tommy B. Tommy Brady. So... Keenan, Jamal, there's a Deshaun, Hester, and a couple of rookies. P. Ryan and C. D. Lamb. Yeah, interesting. The, the top two odds right now that I, that I found for rookie of the year: C. D. Lamb, J. K. Dobbins, and oh, Justin see, Herbert would dude, be the highest quarterback. J. K. Dobbins has a heck of a situation there in Baltimore. He's in Baltimore. Yeah, it's going to be hard to beat that. Situation in Baltimore. J.K. Dobbins. Anybody else got a rookie of the year? Rumor has it Big Ten is back. I don't believe you for a second. What? Thanks for playing. We're going to oh, look that up. Great. Oh, God. I please thought that be true. If you are, rumor has it, J. Oh, I was so wrong. Take away everything I just said about the odds. That was so wrong. Joe Burrow is by far number one transfer. Okay, I lied to you. That was me. That was my bad. I lied. I said it. I will lie to my you. My bad. Le Michael P. Ryan. So, a couple of rookies. There's a there's a Mountaineer for you. Is Hunt going to affect Chubb and Hunt fantasy? The splits are not great. They're not favorable when the time that Kareem Hunt came back last year in terms of Nick Chubb's fantasy production. Probably because Hunt catches so many passes out of the backfield. Thank you for not paying attention to the rumor mill about the Big Ten. I don't believe it for a second. We got a numbered here. We got a numbered Russell Wilson. 39 out of 50. That's a numbered Russell Wilson. Then we have Lawrence Taylor. There's a love for you. And a Johnson. Rivers, Darnold. Okay, so who's the Super Bowl favorite? Ooh, Super Bowl favorite. How many of you have Tampa Bay as a Super Bowl favorite simply because of who they have at quarterback? Mr. Ed Reed. There, there you go. There's a, there's a Drew Bledsoe. Once upon a time, almost led a Super Bowl favorite. Trayvon Henderson tweeted out, we back, coming soon. Ooh, okay. I don't trust a player's tweet. <laughs> I've seen enough of those. I've been around enough of the players. I, ho I hope he's right. I hope he I've been right. around enough of the players to know that we back might mean we practicing <laughs> and nothing else. But, Lord, I hope you're right. Absolutely hope you are right. Mason Rudolph has monster potential. Are you a uh, Steelers fan that's there, the, Brent? This is the wrong crowd to... <laughs> are you a Steelers fan there, Brent? <laughs> Steelers started it. He started it. Here's a little minute of J.J. Watt mini. That's a fancy card. He started it. A.J. Epinesa. Well, Ben's going to be back this year, right? So he's not even, I mean. Ben is going to be back. There's a Chanel Jr. wide receiver. Joe Namath. Couple of rookies. Chenault and Hopkins. Two more stacks. Two more stacks. You're a Miami fan and you think Mason Rudolph has... What makes you think Mason Rudolph has potential? Are you an Oklahoma State fan? And I do like the... Uh, people are talking about the Chiefs. Yeah, I forgot. Like, how, how do you now pick the Chiefs as your bowl favorite right now? Just based on how last year was? True. I mean, no. Luke, there's a Boston College guy. There's a BC guy. Warren Moon, Kurt Warner, T. Higgins, and Van Jefferson. Don't see the Bucks making it. Brady ain't in the AFC East anymore. <laughs> that's <just> true. <laughs> now, that, not that the AFC South is a you know stalwart of defensive Jeez. prowess. Uh oh. There's an upside down behind your back, Drew Brees. Ooh. Get ready for it. That is a Drew Ooh. Brees. Golden Auto, boom! Holy Drew Brees fire. himself. You are welcome. I don't know if it 
I mean, wow. In the years that I've been here, I don't know how many live Drew Brees autographs. Drew? Total. The Saints. That's Heron Mark. Do you be named Heron? That's a Drew Brees auto for you, Mr. Heron Mark. I'm going to set that one very gently down right there. And then we have Joe Montana, Emmett Smith, Simmons. And there's an Ohio State Buckeye, not Chase Young, but KJ Hill. Wow. Brent, you are just throwing smoke. Ohio State sucks. Who do you who do you root for there, Brent? Who do you root for? There's a man, Ryan. There's a BC guy. There's a roommate. I could tell you stories if I was allowed. Chase Young Mini. You wanted a little guy. You wanted a Chase Young. There's a Chase Young Mini for you, my friend. There's a Gronkowski. There's a J.K. There's a might possibly rookie of the year, J.K. Dobbins. Bacon Made Bod. That might be the best name ever <laughs> with a great autograph. Bacon Made Bod. Drew Brees. You are welcome for the Drew Brees auto. You know what I thought? Oh, I thought this pack needs a Drew Brees auto, so I'm going to give him one. Wow. That is a great, great pull. There's a Kayshawn Vaughn out of Andy. Dan Marino. Warren Moon and a couple of rookies. We got Justin Jefferson. There's an A.J. Dillon, best running back in the NFL. Check out his thighs. He's jacked. He's ripped. And I'm a guy, and I'm allowed to say it. Check it out. Rookie of the year, A.J. Dillon. Tannehill. Rookie. 89 out of 299, Brian Edwards. Oh, we got a five. Las Vegas Raiders. Tua, there's a Tua and a Joey Reed. William, it is a Drew Brees auto. It is a great, great Monday. So Mondays are a great day to be alive. A great day to be alive. Mr. Hopkins, Evans, this is a good receiver pack. Tariq Hill, Jared Goff, and a little fake me out before we get to the Ned Reed, Lambert. Where's the Joe Burrow? And a Cleveland Brown, Javon Kinlaw. Oh, Rutgers fan. Wayne's World, how long have you been a Rutgers fan? Record book. Cam Akers. Jeff Okuda, first cornerback taken. Now you want a Rodgers auto. You're not getting greedy, are you, William? You got the Drew Brees auto. Now you want the Aaron Rodgers auto. I can only do so much. I work magic, but not that much magic. I'll do my best, though. Jamal Adams, Devontae, Kayshawn Vaughn out of Vanderbilt University, Peyton, Randall, and then we have a couple of you know, tight end and a running back. Now the Rodgers. We're getting there. One of these packs may hold. Luminance is next. And Aaron Rodgers. If you pull a breeze and a Rogers, listen, if I pull a breeze and a Rogers, four boxes of legacy, I'm never doing this again. Wow. Lynn Bowden Jr., wide receiver, five out of thirty-five. That's a rookie auto. Lynn Bowden Jr. Right next door. Lynn Bowden Jr. Behind now we have a two eighty-seven out of two ninety-nine. Philip Lindsay. We'll set that right there as well. Henry Riggs. Kinlaw to the Browns. Bowden is also a Vegas Raider. It doesn't really roll off the tongue. Lost at Vegas Raider. Well, yeah. I'm still learning to say there's a Baker Mayfield. He put on some muscle. He's going to be the real deal. Stop throwing intersection, interceptions. Cam Akers. Greg Kittle. Elway. There's a Chase Young for you. I've had a couple of Chanel's, a couple of rookie Chanel's. That's the best I can do so far for you. Juju. There's an A.J. Brown. There's a legend for you. There's a 44 out of 150. That's Ladanian. 44 out of 150. Boom! 44 out of 150. A couple of rookies. Let's pass these on over. Yep. Okay. 
These mini cards are by far my favorite. That's yeah. my big hand. That's the little mini. Almost done here with Legacy. There's a McCafferty. Got you a fake out. There's a fan favorite. There's a legacy. And we have a couple of Zach Moss, Grant Del Pitt. And guys, we do do uh, random vet base in these breaks. Random vet base. He's right there. Julio. There's another mini. That's a, that's a Russell Wilson mini right there. There's a legacy himself, Mr. Eric Earl Campbell. Mr. Earl Campbell. Mean Joe Green, a couple of rookies. Jacob Eason. What position? I was a center. I was Matt Ryan's center. I was Matt Ryan's roommate. That's kind of my claim to fame. But I haven't accomplished much in my life since. But I was Matt Ryan's center. I was Matt Ryan's roommate for four years. Well, three years I was his roommate. Five years I was his quarter. The Jonathan Taylor. And a couple of rookies. There's a Tom Brady. And William, are you up front? Are you in the Northeast anywhere? There's a Big Ben. Jacoby Brissett. Ooh! See, it may not be an Aaron Rodgers, but it's a Brett Favre. 28 out of 50. So it may not be Aaron Rodgers. It may not be an auto, but it's Brett Favre himself. 28 out of 50. Boom! There is no Aaron Rodgers without Brett Favre. Rob Johnson. Oh, okay. And so this is a, a dare to tear card, which we won't deal with, but you do have the option in the back to tear it open and get potentially something, a little mini treat or something like that on the inside. So, so the, he made me aware of his dare to tear. There's tear lines here. You may tear it if you would like. I am not going to touch nope. it. Absolutely, I'm not going to touch it. You may or may not get something a little fun Who, who's inside. Who's Packers owner? The Packers owner would be... Who's got the Packers tonight? Mr. Goldberg. That would be you, William. The dare to tear. William, we always love to know what's inside these, so if you do uh, pop it open, shoot us a little message with what was inside. That'd be yeah. awesome. William, let us know if you tear it. William, do, never tearing that, William said. Oh, okay. Very so, cool. so we won't look for... <laughs> Yeah. So we won't look for that email. We won't look for that message. He will not tear. Risk is not worth the reward. Not at all. Legacy. There's a Brett Favre legacy. There you go. AJ McCafferty. There you go. There's a 21 out of 199. There's a Chenault 2199. Who's asking for it? Chenault, there you go. Javon Kinlaw and Cam Akers. Sterling, Julio, Jared Pinkney. Out of Vanderbilt, a 62 out of 100, or Jared Pinkney out of Vanderbilt. Oh, that is a cool-looking auto. Got the uh, jersey right there. Hot Atlanta Falcons. Yeah. Hot Atlanta Falcons. It's a cool-looking auto. Very good. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know what would be inside if you tear it. I do not know. Maybe Ross would, would know better than even me. J.K. Sure. Jeff Okuda. Yeah, maybe you guys can help them with that. What may be inside? I think, I think it's a mini, right? I, I, yeah, William's saying an emerald mini may be in there. Yeah. There's a legacy legend. Okay. Penn State. 
So according to William, you don't know who you get until you tear it, and most of the players aren't as good. Yeah, hey, I respect that. Risk and reward. Risk and reward. There's a Dax Prescott under the lights, Peyton Manning. There's a Ruggs. A couple Alabama guys back-to-back. -back. Ruggs and McKinney. Very cool. Ruggs and McKinney. Mini numbered. Guaranteed short print mini. I have a Kyler I may open now that I have a Favre. You have a Kyler. He, some people say he might win the uh, MVP this year. TJ Hawkinson, 53 out of 299. Who doesn't love the tight end out of the Lions? TJ Hawkinson, 53 out of 99. Jake from and not numbered. I don't know. I've never seen what's inside. I've never heard what's inside. So I'm relying a lot on you guys for what may or may not be inside. There's a third Matt Ryan I've pulled. A little faker out of there. Stefan Diggs. Joe Thomas, the second Joe Thomas. Fat people are welcome. You guys are good. None are numbered. Luminance is next. Trafus, thanks, but you're a liar. And I appreciate that. I do not have a new calling. Oh, another mini. Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Oh, that's cool. Michael Vick. One of my favorite players. Best player ever in Madden. If you could play with anybody in Madden, who would you play with? Anthony Gordon and Hunter Bryant. Let's pass these. Shotgun rollout left. See you later. You play two player, and then you take the you take the like the running back or the fullback, and you auto block. You, you know, you, it's you ridiculous. Just it's just pretty much unstoppable. All right, half almost. We're running towards the end. Russell, fingers crossed on an auto. Here we. There's a Joe Burrow. That's a card. That's a rookie card. There you go. And a Cole Komet and DeAndre Swift. Let's slide this Joe Burrow right there. May not win Rookie of the Year, but he's going to look good here. 48 out of 50. 48 out of 50. There you go. 48 out of 50 on the Joe Burrow. Adam Thielen. There's a Miles Garrett. Very good. Oh, Lord. Oh Lord! This is a Bo Jackson Bo? six out of fifteen. Jeez, oh man. This is a six out of fifteen. Bo knows best. We're doing all the legacy breaks from now on. That's an auto. That's a patch. That's a Bo Jackson six out of fifteen. Kaboom! You're welcome. Bo knows football. Bo knows baseball. Bo knows legacy. There you go. And then behind that we have a one twenty six out of one fifty. Derek, go ahead and the camera fell. Got a little excited. <laughs> Got a little excited and the camera fell. Barry Sanders, a couple of rookies. Zach Moss. Bo knows. Who's got the Raiders there? Darius, that's a big one. That's a Bo knows. Bo knows everything. DJ Shark, one of the best names in football. Uh, now we have a Terrell, Mean Joe Green, Jacob, and Lynn Bowden Jr. Six out of 15, Bo Nose Auto. Marlon Mack, DJ Moore, fan favorite there. There it is, Josh Allen. Couple of couple of rookies, Hasty and Heaver. Yeah, Russell, this is a phenomenal break. If you take the bow by himself, that's a phenomenal break. There's been a couple good ones. There's another Nick Chubb, T Higgins, under the lights, lasting legacy. There's an Archie Manning. Who needs Peyton? We got Archie and Isaiah Simmons. Chandler, Ben, 
There's a number Joe Montana. 69 out of 299. Joe Montana. 69 out of 299. Emmett. KJ. There's a couple of Buckeyes for you. The Ohio State Buckeyes. KJ and J.K. Dobbins. We got a Breeze Auto. So here's the question. Would you rather have Michael Vick in Madden or Bo Nose in Tech Mobile? Who would you rather play with? Luke Keekley, Drew Locke, Gilmore, a faker outer. I would say Bo is more of a OP advantage in Tech Mobile than Michael Vick. Courtney Davis, Justin. Smith. It's close, but there are other QBs you can run with. There are other running backs you can do with. Um, and Emmett Smith. Bo in Tech Mobile, I don't know if there's anyone even close to him. No, there's nobody close to Bo and Tecmo. Dwayne has an Ohio State. Baker. There's a little mini Desmond Pittman. Kurt Warren. and a, There he is. Third time, A.J. Dillon and Tua. Tua. Tua is my Rookie of the Year candidates. Tua. Padman's a Colt. And last but not least, do you want last something? Last pack mojo. Here you go. Last pack mojo. Give me something. Give me something. Here we go. Last pack mojo. Last but not least. Certainly number one in our hearts for legacy. Give me something. Kyler Murray. Juju. Andrew. You got Joe Burrow. We got Joe Burrow. That is a Joe Burrow rookie. We'll slide that right there. Christian. Another Brett. And we got a couple of rookies. Joe Reed and another Joe Burrow. Two Joe Burrow rookies there in that lack last case. So let's quickly... Recap. We got a couple of big booms in this one, and we will go over all of those here right now. Put him in that, those uh, metal cards right there. Yeah. Just get them in here. Here are our rookies. This is one of our big booms. Bo knows football. Six out of fifteen. Bo knows football. Jared Pinckney got that out of Vanderbilt. 62 out of 100. Lynn Bowden Jr., another auto. 5 out of 35. Got that Drew Brees. Got that Drew Brees auto. Got that Drew Brees auto, which is also a 2 out of 10. 2 out of 10. Oh, that's a Chris special, too. That is a 2. Who out of ten? Xavier McKinney. Jonathan Taylor. Tried to beat the Buckeyes. Never really could. Xavier McKinney. Nate Staley, Iowa. Behind that. First one, Tyler Johnson. Tyler Johnson. And then some of our legends. 82 out of 100. Lawrence Taylor got a Joe Burrow metallic. 69 out of 299. Joe Montana. Derek Carr, 20, 126 out of 150. Joe Burrow, 48 out of 50. Lockett, 63 out of 199. 21 out of 199. There's your Chenault Jr. Not an auto, but it's Dare to Tear, 28 out of 50. Brett Favre. K. Sean Vaughn, Vandy University, 89 out of 299. Mr. Brian Edwards. Mini Sam Darnold, Mini Crowder, Mini J.J. Watt, Mini Chase Young. You wanted the big guy, you get the little guy. Mini Chase Young, 44 out of 150. Ladanian, Philip Lindsay, 267 out of 299. 39 out of 50. Russell, Tyler Johnson out of Minnesota, 268 out of 299. Stafford, 294 out of 299. Julius, 2 out of 100. Derrick Henry, 89 out of 199. Mahomes, Mr. Patrick Mahomes, 154 to 299. And Tyler Lockett, 99 out of 150. So that is our legacy break. One of the most fun breaks I've had. Woo. Thank you. See you soon. Luminance is up next. Luminance.